it's iran and pakistan mm-hmm. and also it happened somewhere uh, around that timeline when jay shankar our foreign minister dr uh, s jay shankar was in iran and something happened with pakistan so what is this going on um, <laughs> why are they fighting Uh, let's start with the geopolitics because lots of lots of things are happening uh, recently you were on uh, beer biceps podcast and i think you covered a lot of things there so let's try to do something different which has happened very re- recently it's iran and pakistan mm-hmm. and also it happened somewhere uh, around that timeline when jay shankar our foreign minister dr uh, s jay shankar was in iran and something happened with pakistan so what is this going on um, <laughs> why are they fighting yeah well as we know pakistan is a terrorist nation it's a nation it's a state sponsor and state supporter of terrorism they give shelter to various kinds of terrorists within their own territory some of these terrorists they themselves have created they themselves control some of the terrorists well they take root themselves you know they spring out themselves and there are various causes that terrorists the terrorists fight for but primarily the pakistan government which is the pakistan army itself is the sponsor and and the one that gives shelter to terrorists i think this is a known and established fact worldwide okay and we in india have borne the brunt of terror from pakistan for decades for decades pakistan sent terrorists into india to carry carry out various acts of terrorism it's only in the last 7 8 9 years that india has taken a more hardline stance against pakistani terrorism and we have seen the surgical strikes the balakot uh, retaliation and so on and so forth so now the pakistanis know they, they cannot mess with india too much the pakistanis have also made the afghans suffer for decades okay afghan has been has been devastated by the pakistanis the pakistanis sought what they call strategic death in afghanistan and uh, right now it's it's coming back to bite them because afghanistan is no longer pro pakistan the taliban regime is not a friend of pakistan and then the third neighbor is iran okay <clears throat> which we i think being indians we don't realize that pakistan actually shares border with iran this was our, our border with iran for thousands oh, of yeah. years we had this border with iran today it's pakistan's border with iran it's a temporary state of affairs but we'll not talk about that so pakistan has a significantly long border with iran uh and half of the historical region of balochistan is under pakistani occupation and about roughly half roughly is inside iran currently okay, okay yes so even balochistan is in iran half half oh wow half half okay, okay. so if you look at eastern iran that's essentially southeastern iran there is the other half of balochistan that we don't really think about so now what happens is that uh, pakistan iran have a interesting relationship so when iran was ruled by the shah of iran mr pehlavi mohammad raza pehlavi so mr pehlavi was a pro american leader okay this is before 1979 i'm talking about until 1979 in 1979 we had the islamic revolution and the ayatollah ayatollahs came to power so until 79 mr pehlavi was ruling iran at that time pakistan and iran were both kind of pro us states nations okay and when pakistan went to war with india 65 71 i think they took out some of their fighter planes and sent them to iran for safe keeping okay the, in the iranians the shah regime they allowed this to happen so they were kind of pro pakistan at the time now after the islamic revolution when the the current government of uh, iran its predecessor came to power the regime of the ayatollahs ayatollah khomeini then things changed significantly between, between pakistan and, and iran so we have to always look at the history to understand why something has gone wrong here we have to look at the background how did this happen what's the history behind this so when the new ayatollah regime came in power in iran that was a theocratic regime a shia islamist regime okay the, the, that's the state religion and ideology shia islam the extreme shias you can say oh well you can view it whichever way you want but it's okay. it's a theocratic regime and pakistan we know is a sunni islamic nation yes. mostly mostly so there is a shia sunni angle and pakistan as we know has always been for the for the longest time a us Basal. proxy us vassal like like my favorite word vassal for some time they were the, they were a chinese vassal as well but now they are back yeah. in the us camp and iran and the us have the most difficult relationship so the when the ayatollahs came to power they there was this uh, 
hostage crisis. They took all the uh, large number of American embassy staff as hostage. And that happened for, that went on for a very long time. So the U.S. sees Iran as an antagonistic nation, and Iran calls the U.S. Shaitan e Bozorg, the Great Satan. So, the, so Iran's number one and number two enemies interchangeably are, are Israel and the U.S. Okay? okay, Israel and the U.S. The Americans did a proxy war against Iran via Iraq, the Iran-Iraq war, which went on for the best part of the 1980s. There was a proxy war which essentially devastated, devastated both nations. Okay. So Iran is a very anti-U.S. nation. All right. Iraq is under U.S. occupation more or less right now. And on the other hand, on the east of Iran, you have Pakistan, which is another U.S. proxy. So that is the stage that has been set. And the Iranians accuse the current Pakistani government to do what, is, what it does best, terrorism. So they say that Pakistan is sheltering and harboring anti-Iran terrorists on Pakistani terror, uh, territory. Okay. So I don't know what calculations went on within Iran that we should do this at so and so time and all that. But they launched a cross-border strike, missile strike, I believe, on certain terrorist positions within Pakistan. Okay, on Pakistani territory. And apparently this was right when Dr. Jashankar was there or right after he left. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, somewhere around that. Yeah, yeah. Very close to Dr. Jashankar's official visit to Iran. So the Iranians launched this missile strike and the Pakistanis claimed that it killed civilians. That, that's what they always claim. And then the Pakistanis responded by launching a strike of their own, maybe multiple strikes, which hit targets within Iran. And Pakistan claimed that Iran is sheltering anti-Pakistan terrorists. Okay. So both nations are accusing each other of terrorism. In both nations, Iran started and Pakistan retaliated in doing this cross-border strikes. At the same time, Iran had also done some other strikes in other some other nations, whether it was Iraq or somewhere else, I don't remember, but they had done that. So the Americans accused Iran of doing cross-border strikes against three nations. And they condemned the Iranian strikes against Pakistan. The Americans have never condemned any Pakistani terrorist terrorist activity, by the way. You know. In the Even 80s. Historically, they have not done that. I'll tell you what, exactly. That's what I'm coming to. Okay. In the 1980s, 70s, 80s and, and 90s, Pakistan was a full-fledged US proxy. They got uh, large amounts of uh, cash and weapons and arms and ammunition and logistical support and diplomatic support, all of that from the US. So it, the Pakistani terrorist regime or the army ISI regime was essentially financed and funded by the US. Okay. So in the Pakistan, so India has suffered decades of Pakistani terrorism funded and financed by the US. That's what we have suffered. The Kashmir exodus that happened, that was all done by Pakistan with, with American funding and American blessings and so on. So we have to remember that. So, so America is right now supporting Pakistan because Pakistan is on their side. It is their attack dog, let's say. Okay, I don't want to be... Uh, derogatory by comparing the nation to a dog, but you know what I mean. It's it's a figure of speech. You should be you feel derogatory to a dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what Pakistan is. Just yeah. like North Korea is China's attack dog. That kind of thing. Okay? okay, so that's what Pakistan is. And as long as Pakistan is on the U.S. side, the, the Americans have uh, you know this 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 means of not only keeping India kind of off balance, but also Iran off balance. Right? So the Iranians decided to launch this counter-terror strike against Pakistan and the Pakistanis responded, retaliated and the relations between the two nations are very bad right now. The Pakistanis had expelled the Iranian ambassador from Pakistan and they had brought back their ambassador from Iran. I think diplomatic relations are kind of restored right now but the overall relationship between the two countries is tense and not friendly at all. 